Hey, what is up, guys? My name is Daniel, and today I am here with a $450 Kaveri PC build. Um, yeah, not much to say there. It's going to be uh, great for, you know, budget-oriented gamers. You can do other things like editing and stuff, obviously, on here, as you would be able to do with pretty much any PC. Um, but, you know, this is generally marketed towards the gamer with AMD's APU being in it. I did go with the 7850K, so, you know, in games like Battlefield 4 and Bioshock Infinite, you'll get to play it on Ultra at, you know, 45 plus FPS, I'd say. Um, you know, you can play it on, like, high settings on most games and get 60 FPS, so, you know, definitely more than playable with this system, and at less than 450 bucks, that's pretty insane um value wise so yeah let's get right into this for the cpu only the amd a10 7850k 3.7 gigahertz quad core processor right now this is 169 dollars and 98 cents uh, i didn't actually go with a cpu cooler in this build um but the actual total price of this build came out to 428 dollars and 42 cents so you could add um a hyper 212 evo and that'll actually push it up to about uh 450 bucks so that's pretty insane. And with the Hyper 212 Evo, you could easily overclock this to 4.2 gigahertz and really not have a worry in the world. And that will increase your performance even further uh, than it currently is. So, you know, at ultra settings on Battlefield 4, you could probably get 50, 60 FPS, which is insane. Uh, for the motherboard, I'm with the ASRock FM2 A75M Pro 4 Plus Micro ATX FM2 Plus motherboard. Uh, this is $59.49. Which, you know, is a, is a good value. It's a micro ATX motherboard, so uh, you don't get as many, you know, PCIe expansion slots or anything like that. But um, you definitely get what you pay for. It's a good motherboard overall. Uh, you know, not having a super amount of PCIe slots isn't really going to matter, being that we're not even using a graphics card in this build anyway. But it does have a couple, so, you know, you can um, crossfire this with... What is it? The R7 250? I believe you can crossfire with the 7850K. So, you know, you can do that later on if you want for even more performance. So, yeah, for the memory, only the G Skill Rip Jaws X series, 8 gigabytes, which is two sticks of 4 gigabytes, DDR3, 2133 megahertz memory. This is $85. Um, you can go with 2400 megahertz memory if you want to. Um, that'll cost a little bit more, being that 2133 megahertz is kind of the sweet spot in that. Jumping up to 2400 or even higher um, means you'll be paying orders of magnitude more than this. So I would recommend going with this, but if you can find a 2400 set on sale or something like that, definitely go for it as it will increase your performance a lot with the APU. So yeah, going through the storage, or with the storage I should say, I'm going to do Western Digital Caviar Blue 1TB 7200 RPM internal hard drive. This has a $5 mail-in rebate right now, making it $56.98. Uh, it's a really good hard drive overall. It's kind of the standard nowadays just because the 500 gigabyte version of this is only, what, like $15 less, I'd say? And uh, Seagate drives are generally more unreliable and they fail a lot quicker. So this has kind of become the standard in budget uh, builds at the moment. So yeah, for the case, I'm with the Silverstone PS08B. This is the black ATX, uh, micro ATX mid tower case, I should say. Uh, this is $36.99. Uh, it's a pretty good overall case. If you do have a little bit more money to spend, you can go with, you know, a Fractal Core 1000 or Cooler Master N200 or something like that if you want to. Uh, I do like all of those cases a lot. There are actually, you know, $40, $50 range cases nowadays that are pretty good, I'd say. Uh, this is one of them. So, yeah, you could choose whichever one of those you want. For the power supply, I'm with the Corsair CX430, um, 430 watt, 80 plus bronze certified ATX power supply. Right now, this has a $20 mail in rebate, making it $20, which is pretty insane for a power supply like this. It's not built on the Seasonic platform like a lot of power supplies are, but, you know, for a, a, a good power supply that's built on the Seasonic platform, you'll be paying, you know, $100 plus dollars for a decent wattage. Um, I'd say, you know, for a 650 watt Seasonic based platform, like the Cooler Master, uh, what is it? The V650 or something like that. Uh, it's, you know, like 70, 80 bucks. So for 20 bucks, you're getting a decent power supply that probably won't murder you in your sleep. So yeah, like this video if you enjoyed, subscribe if you're new here. I post content every other day. 
Thanks for watching, and peace. Red, 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 red